So if you got PM on lock, shouldn't be a big deal for you to increase that rent from eight and a quarter up to 1300. What's up? Kind of cold. A little bit. Four, two, two, four, Fairview in the rain. Like if they open the door and start oh, shooting, start I don't want to be like. Direct line of sight. Yeah, man, just hide behind me. Uh, you're only viewing the exterior footage, right? Uh, the property management company actually missed the appointment. We tried after dinner. We tried after second dinner. We tried after second dinner beers. We tried before third dinner beers. Like, we tried quite a bit, y'all. And, uh, you know, these folks, they just uh, never, never responded. Welcome to the Investment Properties sales show folks thing is selling at or above list we are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education we take you to the video tour won't watch you giving it to you straight got a solid solid deal ski for y'all today boy what's up toledo how y'all doing four two two four fairview man 54 9 all right now this particular property that i'm offering to you guys for 54 9 seller left some serious meat on the bone for you guys right here's the deal let me tell you a little something about managing rental properties y'all managing rental properties is stressful it's tough and your tenants don't always uh comply with what you're trying to do right and hiring property management companies if you hire the wrong kind of property manager uh, that can make your job as a real estate investor even more difficult now we have a little bit of that going on here right so this particular house first of all this is a four bed two bath right decent little lower income neighborhood in toledo right Good for Section 8. You could go cash bank tenants, but I do prefer Section 8 tenants in these types of neighborhoods. The market rent today, as I talked to you guys in 2023, should be $1,300 a month, right? So the seller has left some money on the bone. Now, situation, though, is the seller and their property manager, they had placed this tenant a while ago, right? Uh, when they originally placed this tenant, it was a little bit under market rent, but we've seen an explosion in market rents nationwide, okay, all over the USA, and Toledo is no different. So we've seen an explosion of rental income prices, right? So we have a long-term tenant who's currently in the property for less uh, than market rent would determine they need to be, right? 1300 is what you'd need to pay for a similar house like this if you're in Toledo. Four beds, right? Especially if you're going Section 8. The Section 8 vouchers, folks, the more bedrooms, the more money they will pay, right? So we have a decent chunk of money. Almost $500 a month is being left on the table. But as I mentioned, being a real estate investor, difficult. Tenants, kind of difficult sometimes. Property managers, kind of difficult, right? So the situation, the opportunity we have for you guys here today is this is an out-of-state seller uh, who doesn't want to go through the process of increasing the rents, and they're having a little bit of trouble dealing with their property manager, and likewise, they're also having trouble dealing with their tenant, right? Uh, as a matter of fact, uh, when we scheduled the Holton Wise film crew uh, to go film this particular property, as you guys have noticed from watching the footage, uh, you're only viewing the exterior footage, right? Uh, the property management company actually missed the appointment, right? They didn't even make it to the appointment. And then when the Holton Wise team uh, called the property manager uh, like all day, uh, because we spent the entire day uh, in the city of Toledo, uh, filming properties so we were willing to come back a couple times right we we tried in the morning we tried in the afternoon we tried after dinner we tried after second dinner we tried after second dinner beers we tried before third dinner beers like we tried quite a bit y'all and uh you know these folks they just uh never never responded right and the tenants of course flaked as well right so that's kind of the stuff you're going to deal with as you uh become an investor right so if you're an investor who's got property management on lock you're probably going to do a lot better than the particular property owner is currently doing right so if you got pm on lock shouldn't be a big deal for you to increase that rent from eight and a quarter up to 1300 so this person's loss is going to be your gain the way we're doing this is you're going to need to submit your offers contingent on inspection unfortunately uh, other than uh, the exterior footage of the house i don't have uh an interior tour for you right it's just 
uh, unreliable uh, PM and uh, tenants, right? But that's that's part of what you're going to get uh, when you're when you're dealing with tenants in this types of neighborhoods, guys. Uh, that's part of the game. If you guys think that when you own a rental property and you're ready to sell, you just call your tenant like, "Yo, bro, I'm going to sell the house," so like let a bunch of motherfuckers in your house all the goddamn time, uh, and your tenants could be like, "That sounds great. I'm going to do that." That's just. <laughs> That's just not how this business is, man. Uh, so the way we do things here on Holton Wise TV is uh, if you want to buy the property, you got to make an offer, and it's got to be contingent on inspection. And we'll be able to coordinate uh, with your home inspector, the tenants, and the PM to get them in there. But, you know, it, just so you know, it could be a little difficult. Sometimes it takes some time. Sometimes it takes like a week or two. If you're one of those folks out there who's brand new to real estate investing and you're out there in Toledo and you're just like, oh, dude, I want to become a real estate investor. That looks cool. I'm just going to go tour it. And you think you can contact Holton Wise and like, be like, yo, I'll go tour the property tomorrow. And like, we're just like going to get you in there. That's not how the rental property your business works bro uh it, it's very difficult like i said we couldn't even get our film crew in there right uh but if you're willing to jump through those hurdles that are just an unfortunate part of the rental property business it is an imperfect business uh at the end of the day because the seller is a little bit distressed because their team working for them is not uh, up to snuff on where they need to be. They're not giving him the level of service he wants. He just wants out of the freaking business. He doesn't want to deal with the hassle. I don't know if you guys noticed this about your boy James Wise yet, but I'm fucking bald. Has anybody watched Holton Wise TV from like 2015, 2016, 2017? You know what I had? I had like a luscious head of hair, okay? Nice little side part, right? It was looking luscious, okay? Fast forward, 2023, I'm fucking bald because this is all I do all day, folks. I deal with tenants all day. I've sold $200 million with the real estate. I've got thousands of my own tenants, right? It is a tough and stressful situation, right? So you're going to get two people on the end of the spectrum, right? You're going to get that seller who's just like, I don't want to go bald like James Wise. I'm done. I don't feel like dealing with this. And they're going to leave a lot of meat on the bone so they can liquidate their property. And then they got you. If you're someone who has a local team in place or are a local Toledo investor and you don't have to deal with a third-party property management company that is less than stellar, you have a huge opportunity to make a ton of money. Because like I said, there's about $500 a month uh, left on the table as far as market rent. But uh, I'll give you this cue if anybody is uh, unfamiliar. This is a long-term tenant, folks. So don't think that if this tenant moves out, you'll be able to move a new tenant in for 1300 bucks a month without having to do a little bit of rehab. I would have assumed, I would assume at the very least, you're going to have to repaint the entire unit, probably update the kitchens and baths to get that market rent. But if you could come in, Put down a strong fist, put down a strong hand, and manage this effectively and efficiently, you could probably get that tenant's rent up closer to the 1300 without a vacancy. And that's the true name of the game, right? If you're a seasoned property manager, seasoned landlord, seasoned investor who knows how to get rents up without creating an additional vacancy, you are going to make a killing, right? So if that sounds like a good plan to you, send my team an offer, sales at holtonwise.com course you want to make your offers contingent on inspection and then we will go through the process of getting you in there it might not be the easiest process but i assure you give us enough time we will get it done uh, because it is kind of a difficult process uh, all offers need to be contingent on that inspection though right we are not going to go through the whole song and dance with the pm uh, and the seller and the tenant unless you are committed uh, to actually paying for a home inspector to get into that property, right? If we're going to put in that much resources on our end, we need to know you're putting in those kind of resources on your end. Can't just have a little looky-loo. That's just, we ain't got time for that. Uh, additionally, uh, with your offers, include your proof of funds or your pre-approval letters. Let's go. Four... 224 Fairview in the rain. Yeah, careful, there's a little. Oh. Ew! No way, dude! Oh! Gross. Derek, what does our news say about uh, this property? No one meets us exterior only. But it's supposed to be a vacant single family? Yeah, I can find a single family. Like, if they open the door and start oh, shooting, start I don't want to be like... Direct line of sight. Yeah, man, just hide behind me. Yeah. I'm not a stupid asshole. I know how not to die. 
Kind of stupid. Would they say give it give it till three and if Thunder's not here we till get till three? What? I don't know. Derek, what does your notes say? Hey, that's a nice flower. Maybe not till three, but like give it a couple minutes. A couple two three minutes. Give it till like two forty five maybe. Maybe. I don't know. All I know is that there are three garbage cans here. This is a triplex. <laughs> For real. Why else would there be three garbage cans here? All right, let's get out of fire range. You got on a knock or no? Fuck no. What's up? Yeah. Kind of cold. A little bit. Does this is this what is on my shoulder like this? Yeah, it doesn't look too shabby. It doesn't look too shabby. Might be able to do that. I don't like it. So you got a knob up to that knob. I'm kind of hoping that somebody texts me and is like, yeah, it's actually vacant. You can go in and take a shit if you want to. Yeah, right? I think that would be helpful right now. Yeah. <laughs> if only they would just send us a text that said that. <laughs> said that exact thing. Hey, look at Toledo has something that Cleveland trees don't have. Moss. Bark. Bark. That looks like a pretty healthy dead tree. <laughs> couple two tree dead trees. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.